Well, hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That is right. And today we're going to be making this cute arrangement. Mm -hmm. I found these cute little pots and I can't wait to make something in them. Yeah, so we're going to be using sunflowers. So this is going to be a blue and yellow sunflower yes. arrangement. And I, y'all know I love sunflowers. So I'm really excited about this one. So welcome everybody. Thank y'all so much for joining us today. And those of you who are joining us live, welcome. We are so happy that you guys are here with us. We are. So y'all come on in and say hello and let us know what you have been up to for the last week. Yeah. So, hey guys, welcome, welcome. So if you are watching us live, if you will just type live in the comments, uh, if you're watching us on replay, you can type replay in the comments and let us know where you're watching our video from. We always love seeing, you know, where our videos are, are being watched from. Yes, we do. And uh, we have a bug flying around, so just ignore it. We're going to try to hey, ignore it. Y'all know this time of year, if you go back and watch our videos, every time this time of year we get the stink bugs. And oh, they the like to get yes. in our lights. Shop. <laughs> yes, and in our lights. Every time we turn on the lights, there they come. But yeah. hey, you know, as long as they don't get in Amanda's hair like they did one time, we're okay. Yeah, because y'all will see me screaming again. Yeah, so we don't exactly. want that to happen. We don't want that. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, no. no. So we're, yeah, welcome. Hey guys. Hey Brandy. Welcome. We're going to hey have Brandy. some fun today so y'all get comfy um, and we're going to make this arrangement. First, let's show you what we're working with. Um, we're, we're actually using the Dollar General yes. containers that I think we showed you the other day. Aren't, Aren't they cute? They so and look at this though. Cute. It's like a, you can use it like as a hanging pod exactly. or not. And I probably will not use the hanging I was, it, but. but I was telling Amanda that this would be very cute, uh, a cute thing that you could hang like on the back of your mailbox post or, you know, something to put flowers in or yeah. on a uh, railing, you know, you could get a, several because these were $5 a piece. So, you know, you could get several if you've got long railings on your porch or something and hang those on the porch. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. So I don't so, I don't know if it was on Flower Friday or if it was our in our. I think it was in pros design club, with the pros. We club were showing that we you some of the things, and I'll just show you them because I have them right here. Look at these cactus birdhouses that we got for five dollars at Dollar General. Yeah, you can't hardly beat no, that. You cannot. Aren't they and cute? I thought they were cute, and they're super cute. I don't. Five dollars. Have the sign. Um, I think. We got a couple of welcome signs yes. from them, which we don't have right here, but oh, we do have the, the little welcome carts. Aren't they cute? They were $3. Maybe I do. So we're going to use those probably in some kind of wreath or arrangement soon. So y'all be looking for that. Yes, yes you can hang them on a fence, Ella. Y'all give us ideas and of where see, we this can hang is, them. Uh, this is the welcome sign. Don't pay attention to the wreath. But uh, we made this in Design with Pros, Pros Club. But the welcome sign is what I just thought was so, so cute. And I think I've still got the tag on the back. And this one was $5 too. And isn't that cute? I love that welcome sign. So they've got a lot of cute things yeah, they do. right now. So check out your local Dollar General. Yeah, cause, run to Dollar General yes. because they will not be there long. <laughs> I know. They won't. I guarantee you. No, they won't. And they had white and uh, this color. I don't know what color that is, burnt orange maybe, <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, so. either, you know, whichever one you like. I love, I like the white one, but unfortunately they didn't have but one of those at ours. So I got this one too. Well, and now you can see the two color choices that yes. you can get. So you can get so, one or the other. Now, what they may have got, more, I don't know. That's just what I Yeah, have. this is all what, yeah. And show them the little, did you show them the hearts? I did. I thought I'll those were so again. cute, $3, $3, yes, for those. And they're so cute. Um, anyway, we have put a piece of styrofoam in here. We just cut it to fit down in there. And I actually did glue uh, it in because it was wiggling. And so you want to glue that in. And did you show them anything else? I didn't, yeah. Okay. No. We have got sunflowers galore, both little and big ones. So those are so cute. Then we've got these hydrangea oh. ball snowball hydrangeas aren't those cute i think they're 
what do they call them? They just say hydrangeas, so aren't those cute? And I these are those. the hydrangeas are from uh, Joann's. The uh, sunflowers are from Amazon. Yes. So we'll, if you check out our yeah. Amazon store uh, with all of our favorite florals, they are in there. These are good quality. We're going to use them today. I love those. And then we've got this. Uh, this was also from Joann's. These, uh, what are they called? Do they have the name on them? Uh, I don't know how to say that. How do you reckon you say that? Mm. Agapanthus. Agapanthus. Ag is that how you pronounce it? Agapanthus. Anyway, that's what these are. Y'all tell us in the comments. Apparently, we, we don't have many of name. these in Alabama because I've never seen them. <laughs> we did not uh, I, I say that know. right. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that I didn't pronounce that right. Aga, Agapanthus. Anyway, that's what these are, and they are pretty. And then we've just got our greenery bush. Uh, that says it's a ruscus bush that we're going to be using. So, yeah, guys, I love this color combination. I've said I before. Love First of it all, too. sunflowers are my favorite to use. I love sunflowers. Yes. Except I think I said the other day that cabbage roses and peonies are my favorite to use, but sunflowers are yes, my number she, one. Yes. I love sunflowers. I love sunflowers love too, sunflowers. and she really loves so, sunflowers. So, and, yes. And blue with sunflowers is like just. I they really it. are. I you can't it. beat it. You cannot beat it. So we're going to be using those. So, but the first thing I think I want to put in is this agapanthus. <laughs> yeah. I remembered that. If y'all know the correct pronunciation, let us know in the comments because yes. I don't have a clue. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to have to get that thing that you can get on your phone, you know, where it says it for you. So see how, how you yeah. say that. But I think these are so pretty and we just cut these apart and I'm just going to use glue. Now you don't have to, you know, you can always take those back out and I'm going to try to do this backwards so, uh, so that you can see what so I'm doing. We are using our Grace Monroe Home Glue Skillet. Now you, you know, if you do choose to use hot glue, you'll need, you know, or to, to use any kind of glue, you'll want to use hot glue. Yes. But I mean, really sometimes with these, we if we're just using it for, our, you know, for a season in our own home, yes. a lot of times we won't even put glue That's because true. we'll change them out. Like I love, especially I have a mantle arrangement and I just change out the flowers per season. So I just pull them out and yeah. put more in. I'm going to take one more off of this bush because I didn't cut that one. See, I wish we could get all the lovely stuff you have here in the UK, but we don't have anything. Oh, so well, you know, really with this arrangement, if you can, you know, any kind of little pot would would work. Uh, so, but I do hate and that. And the florals. Yes, and any, you know, the, the main thing, you just want different. You want some that are medium size like we've got here. You want some that are kind of longer and taller and we've got those. So anything like that will work. All right. Before so y'all let us know what you're working flowers. on in the comments. Yes. I want to put my hydrangeas in. These are very, very oh, I pretty. love these. Nice, I should have done that ahead of time. So let us know if you're working on anything fun. Yes. Got any interesting projects going on. And tell us what you are doing this weekend. Amanda, tell them what we're, well, we're doing tomorrow. Well, we're going tomorrow. to see a musical. We're going to take all the girls, all the little girls. So we've got how many, like five little girls? Five little girls, because our friend is see a musical taking her. this weekend. So yes, we are. They're all actually. I don't know if they all know about it. My no, my girls know about it. Does Ava? Does I don't know. I don't it? know if Rebecca has told Ava yet. Harper, uh, the other uh, little girl that's going with us, uh, her and her mother, uh, she does know. But I don't know if Ava knows. It may be a surprise yeah, for her. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a surprise, so I yeah. didn't say anything. So you didn't you didn't mention it. Now this is a good stem. You see this one? We're gonna oh. save that. We like to save good stems, so we are gonna save it. I just cut mine apart. You did? Well you can. I just kept them long, but I may end up cutting it apart. You know how that is. I'm just going to put it down here. I think I've got it too tall, though. So, I am 
just going to put this just, and like I said, I may end up cutting it. I'm going to turn it this way just really quickly so I can you, do you have floral tape over there? Cause I, don't I do. I'm sorry. I meant to give you some, since but I cut there that you go. Shorter, I'll just, yes. I'm going to add a stem since I didn't leave mine long enough. And then I'll just add um, some floral picks to the shorter stems. Yeah. And I'm using floral tape to wrap around it just to make sure that it's secure. Yes. So we've got those and we have one more, but I'm going to wait until I get my sunflowers in to see exactly where I want to put that one. You want me to wait for you? No, to you can go it? ahead. I'm, I'm, I'll just be a sec. I love these little sunflowers and this bush that uh, we got from Amazon actually comes with the little sunflowers with it. So I love that it's got both of the sizes on there. I am just going to sprinkle these around. Now I may need to um, add some, a stick to mine. These I had already used and so I've already cut the stems off. So if I end up needing to, I can just add a... Where were you going to put your longer sunflower? Were you going to put it in there? Um, yes, I'm going to put it, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it. Where do you think I'll put it? Where's a good spot? Well, I was going to put mine here, but I didn't know. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to take I this I thought that's one. what I, yep, I did not. Yep, that's when you saw that one. I did yep. not guess your next move. <laughs> yes, you usually do, but that's good. That's good because that's a good spot for it. And I think I may have cut mine too short that time, but that's okay. Maybe not. There we got to go. have our sunflowers. Yes, I love these sunflowers. Oh, Ella said she just made a cutting board. Oh, what did, what did you make it out of? Just like a, a wood and what did you do? Tell us the, tell us what tell you us did. the process. Yes, I'm, I'm very, anybody that can do uh -huh. stuff like that just fascinate me. I love that kind of stuff. So please tell us the process. All right, I'm gonna turn, you know, you can't imagine how it is trying to do it backwards. So that's why I have to keep turning it around. But I want y'all to be able to see. So there we go. All right. I've got a couple more. So I am going to bring this one. I'm going to put it on a stick, though. Just to make sure it is big enough. I'll, have you got the tape? Over yes. There, please, ma'am. I'm going to have to pass it back and forth. Yes, I've got another one, but I don't. It would make a lot of noise for me well, to hunt for it. So I'm, I'm sure mine hunting. is here somewhere. But I told y'all, I think last week, we we organized. Yes. Which is a big deal for us. The organizing <laughs> has made it so that I'm no longer organized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I don't know where anything is. Yeah. It might be organized, but I don't stuff. know where it is. I know. Hey, I can't find it either. I'm hunting around all over the place trying to find something while ago. And I'm like, I can't find like, it. I knew where things were in my mess. Do y'all, I mean, like, sure, can you relate not to me on that? Ones. I know yeah. where things are in my mess. And yep. so now that it's organized, I don't know where anything is. It's not where I had it. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm sure it's in a nice spot, you know, very organized. Yes. It looks good. But I don't you just know where that spot is. Anything. I know. You just can't find anything. Yep. That's exactly. So I'm sure I'm they're. I'm gonna need the tape when you finish. You know, it, it's a oh, good thing, and let me but... just show you real quick. I don't know if we showed. Did we show them what we're using? Oh, no, These either. are just little wooden picks that have a wire on them. You put them up against the stem and you just wrap the wire. Now, if you're using these, and we use them a lot in arrangements. I don't really use them in wreaths much, but in arrangements I do. And uh, you need your your green floral tape with these because that wire will come loose if you don't have it. And you just pull really tight as you're wrapping the stem. And you see, I just kind of hold my thumb and pull it tight because you need to pull that tight to kind of activate this tape and make it stick to itself. So that's, that's what you do. And it, once you do, you can just pull it apart like that and then stick it and it is not going anywhere just like that and because it's green it looks just like the stem 
So it works perfectly. So I've got a comment here, and I'm going to go ahead and read it because there's a question at the end. Okay, good. Uh, Kay says, I'm making cemetery flowers for a memorial where all of my people are buried. I don't know if any of y'all have these, but we do dinner in the ground, per se. It's not really on the ground. It's on tables. Uh, but I was wondering if y'all ever made a flower arrangement for the cemetery. Um, yes. Which, well, I... I'll address the dinner in the ground. I don't think we do that. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know. I don't know where you're... Not where for you're at, a cemetery. Oh, yes. Not I, for, I've not heard of it. Mm -mm. So that's interesting. It um, is. But we do have a cemetery arrangement video. So I will link that. Mm -hmm. I will try to remember. <laughs> You'll tag me yes. in the comments if I don't. But I'll try to remember to link that video for you guys. Yes. Um, but yes, we, have, we do have that. Yes, but that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never heard of that. And uh, is that just like, I'm just curious now. So mm -hmm. is the dinner on the grounds, is that during the, the actual funeral, like after the funeral? Or is that just like every so often just to honor she said it's the for people. all of her people. Are that's there. what I wondered, if it was something just to honor. I think that's such a neat thing. Yeah, tell us um, about that. I, I'm very I'm sure interested others in may hearing be interested about that. In, mm -hmm. in, you know, in that too. Because I, I think that's that. Sounds like such a oh, and Nadine thing. said they call it homecoming at the old country cemetery. Wow. Well, now we do have homecoming at churches, you know, at church and that kind of thing where, you know, once a year people get together that and people come that, you know, from, from wherever for that. And uh, sometimes we have dinner on the grounds is what it, and that's around the church. But we've not, I've never done or seen the cemetery and I just think that is a nice thing to honor your your family so very interested in that. Hey Susan happy flower Friday to you as yes. well. Yes. Where did you put that last one? I was reading the comment I think I misread. Oh I think I put it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just right in the middle and I think my little I've got my my other this was all on one stem and I am going to just bring that right down here on the side. I may have to cut that stem off because I want it to kind of be lower. I have to turn mine around. I can't I see. know. I, I keep I trying. I want y'all to be able to get a, a good idea on how to do it. So, so that's where we are right now. So I want to add some of my little tiny sunflowers. I love these little these sunflowers. These are so cute. Grab another one of my sticks. And now, of course, you can get picking machines, but we do this so rarely that we have to, you know, it to me, it just doesn't, doesn't pay for me to, for us to get one because we don't have to do it very often, but um, but you certainly can do that. But when I worked in a florist years ago, of course, we had a picking machine, and nine times out of ten, all the florists and all of us still used the wooden picks. We just liked the wooden picks. Yeah, I think a lot of it really is just like preference. Yeah, it, it, I think it really is. It's what you get used to using, I think, because they're both equally good. I'm going to put this one right here in the middle. Right. Again, these little um, sunflowers, they they come in the bush with the bigger sunflowers mm -hmm. from Amazon. They are, and they are just, I, I was really happy. Now, I will tell you, if you've never ordered flowers from Amazon, they're going to be mashed in a, and in as little a container as they can possibly get them in. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about them is all you have to do when you get them is take them out, shake them, you know, kind of shake them a little bit, and uh, use the hair dryer and just kind of blow over them and they'll blow right where you want them to and get, get to looking like they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do come like 
but it, it will. You'll In think, oh my gosh, what have I done with this? I want two more of my little, my little blue. Oh, I forgot about these blue ones. Let's add these first. Because these are cute. This was on a bush. Where did we get this bush? Do I don't know, remember? actually. I pulled. I think this was Joanne's, too. I think and so. And actually, I, we only had one because when we ordered, they accidentally, I didn't order this bush. But I'm glad that they sent it. Or you don't think you ordered that bush? No, I went back to look. Oh, and I didn't. It was just very strange. Mm -hmm. But I, I like it. So I was glad. Glad that they sent it. And you can really do this in whatever co color combination Definitely. you like. Uh, another one that I really like with yellow, I like yellow and purple. I do too. Um, so I think this would be pretty, like if you had lavender, you know, mm -hmm. some flowers with lavender. Wouldn't that be, be really beautiful? Pretty. It really would. It definitely would. I'm bring this right down here in the Right. I've got to attach my um your what? Oh, you didn't glue it. Well, I put a little dab of glue, but that obviously but it wasn't, wasn't enough, enough. So it's kind of wiggly. But you want to stick? Actually, what I really yeah. what, what? I guess I'll just add some glue in here. Yeah, that will work. That will work. Okay, I've got You could one. use spray foam if you wanted to. You could, we just certainly. Did today, but. Yes, you definitely could. If you've never done that, just buy at Walmart or anywhere like that a little can of the spray foam, like what you fill in cracks at your house, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and just, just be expecting. The only thing, because I remember the first time I ever did that, and it shocked me to death. I had a big old... Um, <laughs> Look like a big pumpkin coming out of my. Mm, oh my yeah, it expands. Because <laughs> yes, it expands. So a little goes a long way. So just keep that in mind when you are doing it, and keep in mind that don't get it on anything except right where you want it because yeah. it will stick. So here we are. Gaps and cracks. Yes. Gaps yes, and cracks that's what I was trying to think of. I couldn't think of the name of it. I might add a few more of my blue too. Yeah, uh, you figures. certainly can. I probably. Just because I like the blue in here. But yeah. Again. And see, so you don't have to worry about the back with this because you're going to hang it, you know, the way that, like this. So this is going to be the front. So, you, But you do want to worry about, you know, think about the sides, but just not the back. Now, if it bothers you, sometimes what I will do is just put some greenery around the back just so that I don't see anything, you know, that's not pretty. I'm going to save those until I put some of my greenery in and see if I need them then. And this from Joann's is really pretty. I like this. You know, I love my greenery, so I love this... Uh, what did I tell you they said it was? Um, Ruscus. That, that is I Ruscus? guess Italian Ruscus, yeah. It's pretty. So we're just going to use this to kind of fill in uh, here and there. And that's just going to give it some more body and fill in any of those areas. tonight when we leave when we finish here I've got I've got to be in two places at one time so not sure how that's gonna work but uh, my, my two granddaughters who play softball they are having their closing ceremonies tonight for one for the uh, rec league they're still playing on travel ball teams but uh, but the rec league league ends tonight and then so I need to be there at six o'clock our time. And then mm -hmm. uh, my grandson Hudson is playing a, his ball game at six o'clock. So not real sure how that's gonna work, but. 
I feel like sometimes when grandparents have Ooh. grandkids that do all kinds of different things, like the, you think you run around as, as a, parent. a parent, but I feel like, <laughs> like I see these grandparents and they're in all kinds Whoa, of stuff. Whoa, it, it all... does. I don't know. You know, you just can't be at everything, but you try. And so you just do the best you can. I, I have not, it, it, well, I did get to see the whole ball game last night. Sometimes we have to like watch part of one game and part of another and you know, that kind of well, thing. Well, that was only because but they, they were, were playing uh, against each yeah. other last night. So the two girls, so I got to see the whole game and they did great. Both of them did really good. Miss Livy, Amanda's Livy hit a home run last night. Well, and she was doing that too because she had she wants me to buy her something. I said, "Well, you know, hit a home run and we'll talk about it." Oh, see, yeah, you better watch doing that because that young and she will like, do okay, it. I'll do it. Yeah, she'll do it. <laughs> like, I, so I guess funny. I can't use that as negotiation. No, if I don't really want to. Not if you don't want to buy it. Yeah. But apparently, it works for soft. You know, for her to hit a home run. So, so. there you go. I guess the team appreciates it. Just, just you know, you just take one for the team. There you yeah, go. There you go. They are so cute, though. I, I, it was funny because I, we take turns when they're playing each other. We take turns sitting like. Yet last night we had to sit on Ava, my other daughter's daughter's team side, because the time before we had sat on Livy's side. And I always feel like that the parents are looking at me because I'm yelling for both. Because well, how do you too. not, I mean, you even, know? Yeah, but how even, do you not yell for both? So which I even yell for my niece. Of with, course. I mean, even though they're on opposite teams, I mean, still, I mean, I'm I'm gonna cheer for her when she goes up. Yes, because we're always happy yeah. when no matter who's playing, you know, when they're. But I always think that some of the parents, and I'll try to explain. I, both my granddaughters are out there. You know, I try to tell them. They're like, you're on the wrong side. Yeah, why are you're you sitting over here side. with us? Yeah. I like that. They ought to have, you know what? They need a grandparent section where grandparents <laughs> for, can just, all for, grandparents can sit. Don't yeah. matter who you're, you know, who you're playing. That way, if you have one on both teams. Yeah. You just have your grandparent section. I'll put just. I gotta get that in better because it's trying to come out. Put a little glue. I didn't glue this one and it doesn't want to stay. So I'll put it. There yeah, we go. I can see what I want. I have to be able to look at it. I'll put some back here in the back just so that I've got something. You really can't tell it from the front, but I'm just going to add a little bit of this in the back just so that you can't see the uh, styrofoam so much. I mean, if you wanted to make it totally round. You certainly could. Just whatever. That's the good thing about designs. It's whatever you want to do. kind of adjusting the greenery. Yes. Filling in where there's any spaces. I think those yeah. hydrangeas are really pretty. And you could even, if you wanted to, you could, you know, put a little bow. Let me just see. I'm just gonna do a, just a little, little bow. when I glue things in. And then, yeah. And then want to get them back out. I know, it makes it difficult, don't mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just got it. Just I'm just doing a little 
six loop little bow here. If I can find wire. Where might our... What are you looking for? The... Here it is. Yeah, the 26 gauge wire. Now you could use, I'm, I just uh, am using the, I use this wire for everything. You could use a little, uh, what am I trying to say? A zip oh, tie. Oh yeah, like a zip tie or a, you know, pipe cleaner. Yeah, whatever. pipe cleaner, Something anything like that. Like that. But once I get it made, then I can just put it on. I'm yeah, Charlene gonna, says, going back to the gaps and cracks, whatever you um, whatever you touch with it, it's going to stay there. It's going to so stay just there. Use it with caution. Yes, and that, that's, sure. yes, that's, I found yeah. that out the hard way. So just be very, very careful with it. Most of the time, we just honestly use floral foam. Yeah, I really do 90% uh, of the time. Or more, probably 98% of the time. All right, since I made my little bow, now I'm just going to take the, I won't really even use the wire on the wood pick. I'm just going to wrap this right around the pick, just like that. This wire that, that was already made with the bow. And then I just can put this, I'm gonna wrap that one just around just so it's out of the way, or you could just cut that wire off if you want it to. And straighten it, kind of fluff it out a little bit. Cut this off a little bit because it's a little too big. And then just better. There we go. It's a little too long. Shorten it just a little bit. Can I borrow that? Uh-huh. Yep. I am finished with it. Just very easy. And the thing is, you can play with any kind of color combination, really. Mm -hmm. um, I do, like Amanda said, I think this would be beautiful with the lavender. Yeah. If the, we had had the more yellow. lavender, mm -hmm. I think that would be really neat. Cool. I, I think love it blue would too, but I do always. You can't go wrong with blue. Mm -hmm. I just realized we got these little butterflies. Mm -hmm. forgot about these until now I just took them off the off of the stick that was on it and I'm just gonna put a little blue right there let's see oh, I like the little butterfly yes aren't they cute now you got a little a little oh, basket of flowers I think those are sweet uh-oh, he fell off. Yep. Oh, I didn't get enough glue on him. Let me put a little more glue. Now. There we go. Hold him there a second this time. Cute, cute. It is cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, there you go. I didn't, uh, I didn't what? get my little butterfly. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I'll okay. put them up there. They're, yours are bigger because they only, okay. I just took my thing off. Hold on. Yeah. I didn't mean to take my handle off. There we did go. Did you glue it on or? What? Yeah, I just popped them right there on one of the sunflowers. Now, if it, did you leave the stick because they got no, a stick? I didn't. You could stick the little stick down in there. I know, he's just so cute though. So just glue him to that one. Yeah. There you go. Isn't that cute? This is so cute. Did anybody, by the way, know how to say this? I I'm still see. curious I don't know. about this. If y'all know how to pronounce that, y'all let us know. And if you don't think it's a, what did I tell you it was? Anga, what? 
What was it? I can't remember Papa now. Papa something. Oh yeah, here it is. Agapapa. Aga. Agapapa. Agapanthus. Oh. Agapanthus. So if y'all call it something else, what would you call this? I don't. I, I've just never heard of that, and I thought I'd heard every flower, but nope. Not well, the it's like I'm not good, and I don't know if any of y'all are like me, but I can see a flower, I can recognize it, but I can never yep. tell you the name. Most yeah, of the no, time, I am bad about that. Or something, a sunflower, yes. Rose, but anything dahlia. that is yeah. out of the Peony. ordinary in the name department, mm -hmm. we're going to just leave yep. that to, to to somebody else. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because I'm not good at remembering names. Did you put this in here? What? No, I didn't. Oh. I ended Did up not use using it. Hmm? I didn't use all my sunflowers either. I had two left. Three left. Yeah. Okay. But we could use, we could have used them. But I just decided I liked it like it was. Oh, you pronounce it correctly. Am I? Am I really? Lori okay. Said it's pronounced just like Agapanthus. That. Agapanthus. Okay. Do they grow where you're where you live? And where is that? Just so that uh, I know what section because I've I've just never seen them. Or I may be calling. You know, I may have seen them and yeah. call them something else. I don't know. Yeah, but I do love these colors together. I, too. I think that just blue and yellow, there's something about it. It's just it very does. Striking. It make it, and it just screams spring. I was a little concerned about the color of this, but it really doesn't bother me no. now that I've made it. it I was of, afraid it was going to. Well, you know, it kind of just looks, and it may be hard to see the color on the screen. But yeah, kind of just like a clay. It's like a clay pot, pot look at that color. So, and we just wanted to get both of them so y'all could see the different color yeah. choices. That they have, yeah. and like I said, they may have more, but they they could. Yes. And Debbie said that's a coastal flower, so that might be why we don't see it. Oh yes, yes. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, they're beautiful. Yeah, I like them. Well, this has been fun, guys. I hope y'all have has. enjoyed this one. It's it's really easy to make. Um, you know, we didn't use a whole lot of materials for it, and you can make it in any color combination any you color. want. Relatively inexpensive too, because like we said, these containers are from. Dollar General, five dollars. Sure, and so, the flowers you could get. Dollar General has flowers, so you know you could you could get everything there if you wanted to. Or you know, even Dollar Tree has got some pretty flowers, so you know you can make it as as elaborate and as expensive as you want to. So mm -hmm. if you need to save money on it, use those. That's right. I, I tell you what I like to do if if I'm trying to cut cost. I like to like if I've got one really pretty thing that cost a little more like the hydrangeas then I'll go less with with some of the other things you know I won't spend as much on some of the other things and you know a lot of times if you've just got one really nice flower then you can you can do that and cut the cost because I, I keep doing this I keep taking the hand well off. I may take my hand uh, off I may have to too because apparently I don't need to keep it on there well, I keep thinking that you can, you would, I don't know. I feel like it's different than I think it's going to be. I don't know. But anyway, there's always ways to save money is what I was trying to say. Yeah. So you can make things as, of course, with florals, you can make them yes. as expensive as you want to. Yes. But you can also make them less expensive with Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Walmart. Mm -hmm. Great florals, really good prices. So um, Walmart has really good they florals. really do yes i mean to me a lot of them are comparable to to the more expensive they are um i think they are suppliers and craft stores so you know but this is a fun one you guys give this a try yeah for sure and y'all let us know what you're doing this weekend yes i want plans. to know i can't wait we're going to the play tomorrow yeah, so we'll i just can't wait know. to see the kids i love their expressions and mm -hmm. what they like so i'm excited about that we went and picked strawberries today so that's they where did. i have been all day we went on a homeschool field trip with our homeschool group and then i took my niece who they were out not of school today. but they were yep. out of school for a e-learning day so this was she her got e to learn yeah she got to learn about picking it may strawberries. have been a weather day or i don't know i don't e know i think weather, it, i can't remember some but, kind of day yeah. but so we went and you know, we picked strawberries and they are 
wonderful. They're oh, so ripe and good right so now. We good. went a couple weeks ago. They just weren't quite And why ripe. didn't you bring your mama some? I'll bring you some. Okay. I, I got three buckets because I was <laughs> only going to get two, but then Bennett had to have his own bucket. He had so. to have his own. Oh, bless his sweetheart. So I've got plenty of strawberries. Though I will say I ate a good bit. Oh, before I, I would. <laughs> I asked her, did they get to eat them while they were picking them? Because I remember do that, that, but they don't let you. No, so I guess no eating while probably you better. Yes. Probably need to wash them first. Well, we didn't wash all of them, but yeah. I think it's because they don't want you to yeah. eat them. You and then, yeah, and eat, eat, your, eat your full, and then, yeah, and then fill up your basket. Yeah. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> so they have a big sign that says, do not eat while picking. Yes. Makes sense. <laughs> but it was fun, and we enjoyed it, and we got to spend time with some of our friends. So. Yeah, so that's always mm -hmm. fun. But this was fun, guys. Y'all, like I said, give this one a try.